Learning how to ride the bevel on turning tools that need that really is pretty easy. Like everything else in turning, it takes a little practice to get used to it. All three of these tools have a kind of a bevel to them. Only the top two have bevels that are meant to be ridden. Bull gouges, even those with the fingernail shape like this one, have bevels that are meant to be ridden as well. I even ride the bevel on my big skew chisel when I want to do a real light shaving cut. Scrapers have a little bevel, but they're meant to be used below the center of the wood so they work strictly off of the top edge. That angle below the edge on a scraper is just meant to keep it out of the way so the edge can make contact with the wood first. Tools like my spindle gouge are meant to be used with the tool on the tool rest and riding the bevel at the same time. We always have to maintain both of those contact points. Then very slowly lift the handle to bring the cutting edge down to the wood. That motion draws the tool through a small arc and brings the cutting edge down till it engages the wood. Set the tool on the rest and then set the bevel on the wood. Now just lift the handle very gently until the cutting edge engages the wood. With a spindle gouge like this I also roll it slightly into the direction that I'm going to cut. This takes a little practice to get used to, but you can take very fine cuts and leave a super smooth surface right off of the tool. And we can do the same thing with a roughing gouge to get a very smooth cut. After getting a blank rounded out, I'll change over to riding the bevel on my roughing gouge also. Because the bevel runs all the way around the cutting edge on this tool, we can use it at an angle. Riding the bevel this way lets you go with the grain of the wood and get a really smooth cut. You can also ride the bevel with a skew chisel. Just watch out for this point. You don't want to get that down into the wood. This takes a little practice and a light touch, but you can make some very fine shaving cuts to smooth up a surface. When you get this cut right, it looks like very fine hair coming off of the wood. But when you stop it, you can see that you've got a very smooth surface. Once you get used to riding a bevel, you can take a spindle gouge and roll it right around and ride the bevel all the way across the front end of a piece. This takes a bit more practice, but if I can do it, so can you. Just keep your tools sharp, take a very light cut, and just pay attention to the bevel as you roll it around the front end of the piece. Notice that my fingers are always behind the tool rest, and the tool's always on the tool rest as well as the bevel. Now be safe, sharpen your tools, and go and get some practice in. Riding the bevel is an important thing to learn, and it'll make your turning projects come out better.